What's up guys? Welcome back to the Superman Collector's Vlog. It's me, Zach, and today we have a video that I'm very, very excited about. Um, so, when I think of who is Superman's most iconic, coolest villain, um, it's probably Lex Luthor. But when I think of second place, I think of General Zod. So, of course, made famous first, probably by the original Christopher Reeve Superman movies. Um, and I think Terrence Stamp to date has done the best job of portraying the character of General Zod. So today we are going to count down and go through some extremely rare original movie props and production material related to Terrence Stamp's General Zod. All right, guys, time to go through the weirdest Terrence Stamp General Zod piece in my collection. This right here, believe it or not, is actually Terrence Stamp's sideburns and uh, mustache beard appliance that he wore in the movie. So uh, what most people don't realize is even something as simple as hair, it's not the same every time when you're talking natural. So a lot of times they wear appliances uh, for continuity purposes. So this has the original box here. This came from makeup supervisor Stuart Freeborn's collection. Um, this is the original box of the beard and mustache uh, that Terrence Stamp wore. It did come with a prop store certificate of authenticity, uh, but Stuart Freeborn uh, ended up consigning a lot through them. So a really unique and interesting piece of Superman history here. So next set here that's really, really cool, and I'm so excited to share with you guys because I believe this might be the first time I've ever shared this to the public. But this is a set of original hand-drawn storyboards. So storyboards would help with uh, creating the movie uh, as they kind of decided what scenes needed to be filmed and how they needed to be filmed. Um, so this is the original set of hand-drawn storyboards because, again, once they were drawn once, they would be copied and distributed to other parts of production. But this is the original set relating to the scene of the first time Terrence Stamp's Zod says the the phrase kneel before zod or, or tells uh tells superman to kneel before him so as you can see right here zod says kneel son of jor-el bow to me and atone for the sin of your father so how cool is that this is the earliest conception of that iconic scene uh and i would bet that uh many people who aren't even superman fans are familiar with that scene but really cool i'll show you some of these close up but really proud to own this set all right guys i'm about to show you one of the newest grails of my collection uh, and this is a piece that I'm super excited to own. So I can't talk highly enough of the company Prop Store. Uh, if you've ever dealt with Prop Store, they're one of the most reputable dealers um, in original, authentic movie memorabilia um, in, in screen worn merchandise. Um, so this piece uh, that I'm about to show you just came up for auction in their most recent uh, winter sale. I had known this was going to be consigned. Uh, because I met the original owner on Facebook and we kind of conversed a little bit. Uh, and luckily he gave me a heads up that they were going to be at the sale. So I had time to put a little money back to make sure I was ready for it when it came. So these here are an original pair of boots worn as General Zod in Superman and Superman 2. And I'm incredibly proud to own these in my collection. So these are marked on the inside uh, for actually Paul Weston, who was the, uh, the stuntman who did some stunts for Terrence Stamp, and they're marked water. So it's most likely that these are the original boots worn in the debut scene where General Zod walks on water um, to, uh, across the lake. Uh, you all remember the iconic scene, but really, really cool piece. I'm super proud to own these boots. Um, one of a kind, super, super neat. So one thing I want to show off about these boots. So obviously in the movie, they appear black. Uh, but the, the material of these boots is very different depending on lighting. So if I take a flashlight there, um, you can almost see how kind of a reddish hue comes out. And in the right lighting, these boots will appear almost completely red to like a burgundyish brown. Um, versus when I take the light away, you can see uh, it looks much more black. Um, but you can get very stark color differences just depending on the lighting that they're in. So it ended up working out perfectly with the Ikea Detolf cabinet uh, to provide just an amazing glass display case for them. Um, 
Really, really cool. But again, one of the gems of my collection. Uh, very, very proud to own it here. So here's another piece that I'm sure is quite uh, familiar to all of you if you're a fan of Superman 2. This is an original screen-used Daily Planet newspaper uh, with the White House Surrenders headline. And of course, General Zod right there in the corner. Uh, but really, really cool piece. Now, I'll be honest, there are several of these floating out there. You've probably seen many at auction houses over the years. Um, paper items like newspapers, uh, there'd be many, many printed for a couple different reasons. Number one, you, you see stacks of these in the movie, so it's not like there was only one of these ever made for the movie to begin with. Uh, but number two, they like to have backups, and with something like a, a paper prop, it was easy to make backups. So there are several of these out there, but this is one of the original production used um, newspapers. Uh, really cool. I did have it professionally framed uh, by Michaels. Uh, they did a great job. Um, cost me just a couple hundred dollars to frame it but you can see the uh the kind of pop that it has there well worth it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're as big of a zod fan as i am uh, i think one of the coolest villains in any comic book movie ever and terrence stamp uh, knocked it out of the park with his portrayal of the character um again if you guys aren't subscribed please subscribe to this channel i got all kinds of cool content like this and there's many many more to come all related to superman collecting thank you guys for uh for watching, uh, for supporting me. I love you all so much. Thanks for watching.